Hello, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of the Best League 2. Uh, today I have an announcement for you guys, for everybody that had misled, uh, mis, mis, misguided with uh, the best of three. It was a best of five. So uh, what I was thinking is like whoever gets three points and how you get points is you get points when you win the duel against other, po uh, other people. And I lead, mislead a lot of people that they've been thought that this is like only three uh mac i mean who gets two points win uh, it was about the opposite whoever gets three points win it's a best of five so with that clearing out of the way i officially have rewards for place one two and three it's gonna be a uh, dp points a session points from me to a uh, players who uh gets position one two and three so today episode it's Voltir against uh, Gordon. Um, it's a pretty huge uh, battle. Both players has been trying their best to uh, perform in these uh, two battles, and it's another another Titans into the arena. Okay, so without further ado, let's jump into the first player. Uh, let's jump into Voltir. All right, guys, let's talk about Voltir. Voltir is a rogue that uses Mystic Legendary Enchantment of Master of Shadows, which can make your Sinus Strike, Invisible Road, and Rod Troop Strike deal extra shadow damage. Of course, Master of Shadows uh, give us a lot more buffs and benefits, especially if you have uh, shadow spells to back, uh, back it up. Um, uh, Voltir is a really straightforward character, you go stealth, go and attack your opponent without he knew this, that he knew is that you're there. Um, he uses uh, Sinister Strike as a main generating combo spell. And of course with Sinister, Sinister Fury, which will have chance to deal extra damage and give us extra combo points, which makes uh easier generating of combo points and making big fat five points if his rates uh possible of course he's been using a frost brand weapon so he can slow up the, his targets and he have more controlled situation uh one of the things that he uses as well is garrote and i'm i'm sure that he uses uh serrated blades uh, just because it can give him opportunity to use Garrod without need to be in stealth. Alright, let's see how he perform against me in 1v1 duel. Let's talk about Gordon. Uh, he's a straightforward Paladin spec that deals pretty high amount of damage real quick. He have an explosive strength, and by explosive strength means that he put a lot of pressure real quick. He told me that he switches between two Mystic Legendary enchantments, which uh, they are Purification by Light and Consecrated Strike. So both of those uh, elements, uh, enchantments are pretty pretty strong. Uh, let's start with the purification by light. Your damaging abilities have a chance to exorcise your target and cause him to cast a consecration. 
uh, effect. So, and those stuff scale with the exorcism and consecration abilities, which makes a lot more consistent damage. Of course, concentrator strike, it's uh, wherever you crusader strike divine storm and hammer of righteousness ability have to chance to consume the ground below which of course will increase your strength and of course the strength of your allies and increase your spell damage by your strength of course with this effect final one this can deal a uh, bonus physical damage and i think this is pretty huge uh enchant for paladins he uses crusader strike hammer of wrath absolutely straightforward paladin build um and of course exorcism it's one of his uh, main abilities uh which i'm sure that he's proking exorcism with uh the art war pretty pretty important for paladin abilities and of course have chance to reduce your next flash of light or exorcism to be eastern cast um throwing weapon uh, as, as, as well we can see that he's been using of course as concussion blow for the stun and like the vault here he uses frost brown weapon so i think that proc as well seal of righteousness if i'm not mistaken and you can slow down your enemies which he can have a lot more control of the fight so let's see how he perform against my type of character Oh, that was everything, okay. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, All right, gentlemen, it's time to choose the map. Let's see the random generator, what it's going to choose us. Ashenvale, the Zoham Strand Ruins. All right, let's go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the battle number one uh, between Gordon and Voltier. Of course, uh, this will be interesting one if we can see that the uh, Shadow Rogue build can beat a uh, Paladin uh, build. All right, Gordon led him to open up. And the uh, usual uh, Rogue combination, stun into another stun and trying to deal as much damage as possible. As we can see, one attack of Gordon took a lot of damage of Voltaire. Gordon poop up all of his cooldowns and he's absolutely smoking him in that particular moment. There is a... Uh, wow, that's, that happened pretty pretty fast. Uh, of course, Voltaire put his spirits out, he's taking some HP back, trying to escape, trying to heal up a little bit, trying to get back into the battle. But uh, Gordon looks like with his explosive power deals a lot of damage. Uh, both of them are the same HP, uh, of course, the last stand of Voltir pops out, he just one hit away, and yeah, first, first battle it's on Gordon, that was uh, pretty freaking quick, like, don't ever estimate the Gordon power. Alright gentlemen, battle number 2. Alright, there we go, Gordon, I think it's gonna give him again to open up on him. Uh, like the last time and let's see if this is gonna be a little bit different uh, uh, time I think he right now switched to his another myst mystic legendary enchantment uh, which is uh, dealing more periodic damage over time as you can see Voltir is it's like 5% HP Gordon did not even take a damage yet um, Voter tried to survive and one more attack, ice block, after ice block he have to vanish, there we go, he tries to escape a little bit, um, tries to heal it back, let's see if uh, Gordon can found him and finish him, alright Voter take a lot of healing, 400, 500 HP, uh, let's see what will happen, Voter tries to do uh, as much as damage as possible, he put some couple of combinations, he did um, 3k damage on Gordon, uh, but uh, Voltaire doesn't have any more mana. 
he cannot heal up anymore even with this blink uh, blind that he uh, put on Gordon Gordon is in, in pretty good state he's a full mana in health uh, Votir stun him again tries to put his combo uh, uh, once, once again uh, he did a significant amount of damage to Gordon tries to escape that was a nice one uh, he tries to control the battle with all of his CC's but the explosive damage of Gordon it's a little bit too much uh, to anybody taken um, last uh, drops of Voltir mana are out he no longer can heal he puts a lot of damage on Gordon once again uh, tries to go out, reset his stealth, reset his combo but uh, Gordon get him before he can do that uh, puts a lot of damage on him, healing into uh, Hammer of Wrath. Wow, okay, so uh, this was not a bad battle, but the whole point is that the Gordon have so much explosive power, and if you want to have anything of, of a chance against him, you need to control uh, the situation a lot, or uh, Gordon will really burst you all the time. So we ask if uh, Voltir wants to change the map and his answer is no. So we continue the third battle into the same location. Alrighty, it looks like a random guy will come up and uh, visit the battle of the gentlemen. Uh, he come up and tries to help us a little bit. I mean to warm us a little bit. Uh, or a specimen, nice. Let's continue with the battle number three. Both of the players are ready. Uh, Gordon for the third time lets Voltir to open up on him. Let's see standard draw combination, stun into combo points to another stun. Uh, this time uh, Voltir is disarmed and cannot uh, continue with his combination. Uh, Vol uh, Gordon put all of his cooldowns and wow, wow. Okay, that was that was a really quick one. And this is three points for Gordon. He put a really explosive power there. Um, both you shouldn't expect that and uh, uh, vanish uh, until the cooldowns of Gordon's are out. Three points for Gordon. He continues into the stage number two in se session two. Uh, but Voltir, he go in a losing bracket. Well, he will have the chance to come back. And yeah congratulations to both of them and let's let's jump in into the characteristics of gordon all right let's jump into the Gordon characteristics as we can see wow he used uh he deals the most damage with his auto attack which of course procs a lot of uh, effects like seal of righteousness judgment of righteousness frostbrand attack consecration exorcism as well and uh, that's a pretty impressive. So every single time when he auto attack, he procs something. There is no way that he's not gonna proc anything. And of course, with his uh, talents, he can make um, exorcism for free. And of course, exorcism procs a lot of another stuff. And overall, this is a pretty pretty strong proking uh, build. To be completely honest with you guys, uh, we we saw on Voltir, he just pop up his cooldowns and absolutely smoking hp like his explosive strength it's pretty significant all right let's jump in into the volunteer characteristics so his uh, main damage ability is a sinister strike we can see that the uh, master of shadow the shadow damage that he dealt with all of his abilities it's a uh, not 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 low amount like uh, we can see that it's a uh, half of the sinister strike of course uh with sinister fury which i think it's proged shadow damage but i'm not exactly sure um it's uh, quite a, quite a lot i mean every single time when he out attack uh, every single time when he uses sinister strike he procs master of shadow frostbrand weapon and sister fury at the same time of course all of his attacks can proc garot as well so we can see that uh, on gordon and and plus he didn't have a lot of chance to put a lot of um uh, damage he put on gordon because the most of the time he needed to survive because gordon have a lot more explosive power and volter have a lot more controlling power um um, I think Voltir should all the time, whatever the, the Gordon was popping his cooldowns to hide until the, the cooldowns are off and come into the into the battle 
uh, trying to deal uh, as much damage as possible until he exhausts the Gordon mana and try to finish him off with his uh, moves. So this is uh, the characteristic of the players. So if you like the series, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike the series, give it a thumbs down and put really, really, really nasty comment in the comment section below. Just subscribe for me. It helps me a lot. Uh, that's for sure. And uh, see you into the next video when another two titles is going to fight for the crown.